Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beige. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below before you leave. So today's video is super exciting for me because I came up with a new method for installing your 360 wigs or even your lace front wigs or even your closure wigs, you guys. I came up with a foolproof method for getting these wigs to stay on your head without any damage to your hairline or to the wig or applying any adhesive directly onto your skin. So let's jump straight into this. This wig is from OMG Her Hair. I'll have all of their information, the promo codes, and the direct links down below in the description box. So the wig that I'll be working with today is 18 inches. The density is 180%. The hair texture is kinky straight. And the cap construction is a 360 lace wig with a kinky hairline and a kinky nape area. I did help create this wig. I did suggest that they use a kinky back area for this 360 lace wig. So I am so excited to actually see the finished product and put it on my head. So the first thing that I'm going to do is tint the lace so that it is a perfect color match for my complexion. I'm grabbing two different colors of lace tint. The first color is the color of my foundation and I'll be spraying that along the entire perimeter of the lace edge portion of the wig. And then the second color is the color of my scalp and I'll be spraying that along the entire circumference of the inner portion of the lace. I'm doing two different layers of each color of lace tint and then blow drying in between each layer. So today's install is going to be really 2025 ish it's going to be really futuristic y'all because i'm definitely installing this wig with super glue and velcro so the first thing that i'm going to do is grab my strip of velcro and i'm going to use my scalp color lace tint and i'm going to spray a couple of layers of that scalp color to the velcro and then i'm going to blow dry and it's going to be a perfect color match to my scalp. I do have a wireless portable TV. If you follow me on TikTok, you guys have seen that that TV went viral. So that's what I'm using to see the back of my head. And that's why you see like several different screens right here. But I'm just going to use that crazy glue on the back of the Velcro. I'm just going to apply that crazy glue on the back of the Velcro. And then I am just going to apply that to this silicone wig grip that I'm wearing. The first strip is secured. Now I'm just going to turn to the front and let you guys see how I apply that Velcro to the front. So your strips of Velcro don't even have to be as wide as mine. They can be shorter. You can do shorter squares. You can do a full strip of Velcro. I just chose to do three strips of Velcro. So with Velcro, we know that there is a side A and a side B and together they stick together. They basically match and mesh together once the two come into contact with each other. Now that I have the three Velcro strips where I want them to be on the wig grip, I have to make sure that the matching Velcro strips are sewn onto the wig in the exact same placement. So I'm just gonna put the wig grip onto my wig mannequin head, and then I'm gonna put the wig on top of that, and I can clearly see through the lace, right? So I'm just gonna use these hairpins and pin down where the Velcro is on the wig grip and that is going to show me where to sew the matching part underneath the wig lace. I hope that makes sense. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to explain, but it's not difficult to do. But I'm just trying to explain the steps that I did. I'm basically just matching up the Velcro. I'm just going to style the wig now. So I'm spraying water on the hairline. I'm going to add some oil to the hairline and then I'm using my boar bristle brush and a blow dryer just to get these um, just to get the kinky edge to loosen up a little bit more so that it can look a little bit more natural Whatever you do to the front you want to make sure you're doing to the back And here is how the kinky edges look after blow drying the hairline And this is how it looks if you did not blow dry the hairline Oh my gosh, the back looks so natural already um, but I am just going to go ahead and straighten out the back a little bit with the blow dryer
And then I'm just gonna add a hair serum to the hair and then lightly go over the hair just to straighten it out a little bit with my flat iron. I, I'm not looking for it to be bone straight, but I do just want it to be a little straighter than what it was. Okay, we are getting closer to the install. So I'm just gonna grab a pair of scissors and carefully cut around the ears to get rid of the ear tabs. It's always easy to get rid of the ear tabs first, especially when you're working with a 360. Next, I'm just going to slice down the center of the lace and then use my pinking shears to carefully go along the hairline, cutting right in front of it to get rid of that extra lace. I'm gonna do the same thing to the back as well. Whatever you do to the front hairline, you wanna make sure that you're doing to the back also can we just take a moment and appreciate how natural the back of this hairline looks i just y'all this was something that was missing from the market for years and i am so glad that they listened to my idea and they came up with an actual that's our hairline right there i know that's my hairline i mean i have a little bit more buck shots than that but it, it looks identical if you ask me all right, so here's the fun part. I'm gonna grab the wig, place it on my head, and line up the Velcro with the matching Velcro strip. So I don't know if you guys know this, but I do have locks, and I um, have my locks in ponytails underneath this wig, actually, and it's not exactly the best foundation for laying down a wig flat. So as you can see, I'm having issues with the front staying down where it's supposed to be, and that's because my locks are not completely flat. So if you do want to try this method, you probably won't have the same issue as I had if you do have a completely flat foundation or base. Make sure that you cornrow your hair in tiny cornrows and have them as flat as possible. So I would suggest straight back cornrows or in some type of pattern that you don't have to worry about your hair um, lifting up the wig basically. So I am definitely doing this again with a lace closure. That way it does lay completely flat and I don't have to worry about the wig flying off. I don't have to worry about the wig going anywhere at all. The thing about wig grips is that wearing it on its own without this Velcro, I've had issues with wig grips when people give me hugs and I'm wearing a wig grip, the wig actually slides back. I've had issues with wind blowing really hard and the wig actually falling off even with a wig grip now with the velcro honey and this crazy glue the wig ain't going nowhere it's not going anywhere so yes it was the most genius thing to do it this way i'm definitely going to do it again with a lace closure because my locks wouldn't come it wouldn't interfere with the wig laying down flat so i'm just going to do my method of the sponge and adhesive and I am just going to apply a very small amount of that adhesive on the very edge of the hairline just to get it down. And I'm only doing that on the left and right because I wanna show you guys that my Velcro method does work. And so does my adhesive and makeup sponge too. But as you can see, I didn't use any of that adhesive on the middle portion of the lace at all. 15 minutes later, it's time to remove this head scarf. And I mean, is that not my hair? Is that, is that not my hair? So I'm just going to grab my brush and then just, you know, comb this hair into a style. My, the back of my nape area does have a lower hairline like my front. And I could have shaved off the back um, so that it would be like a perfect blend with the wigs hairline in the back. But I didn't do that. I actually forgot about that part. So we just going to ignore the fact that my hairline is like way lower than the wigs hairline. But... All in all, it was a very successful install. Let's chat down below in the comment section. How do you feel about this new Velcro method that I came up with? Let's chat everything this wig, the hairline, the texture, the density, the 360 lace portion of it. How do you feel about the new kinky nape area? Let's chat everything this wig down below in the comment section. If this is your first time on my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and comment down below before you leave. I can't wait to see you all in my next video. I'll have all of the information, the promo codes, and the direct links to the wig worn in this video down below in the description box. So check down below and I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Bees.
Zay. Yeah, that's right. It's Bezos. Zay. Ay, ay.